You have bothered you too much. I thought you'd have wanted to settle down by now, Trace. You know, house, kids and that. Well, you mean happy families like the royals? Now I'm all right as I am. Who needs them? Men or kids? Right. How much do I owe you then? Uh, a fiver. A fiver? It's a bit expensive, isn't it? I thought uh, we could sort something out for old times, see? Don't know each other anything, do we? No. Not a thing. On the house, then. Can't say. So why are you meeting someone special? I don't know. I haven't even seen him yet. Hello. Hiya. You know I believe near you, don't you? Nanny, you've only just got here. I'm visiting Diana in hospital, remember? Oh, I can't believe she tried to run away with herself. And all over what that Peter Harrison did to her. Poor girl. Still, she seemed a bit brighter last night. Oh, did I tell you? Dee Dee Dixon's opening a florist next door to Ron's. And I hardly slept for the excitement, Nan. Well, it'll be just the job from here, won't it? I mean, she's bound to do you a special deal, you know, putting fresh flowers in the shop every week. That's a touch of class. And we've got you for that, Nan. Never have too much of a good thing, though, can you? I uh, saw the lights were still on. Uh, not for much longer. I've been run off my feet. I was wondering if you'd been to see Diana in hospital yet. Um, me nan went in today. I'm going in this evening. Um, she said physically she's OK. She's just very low. Yeah. I got the feeling her biggest regret was that slashing her wrists hadn't worked. It must have shaken you up by doing it round at yours. I suppose she thought I deserved it. I know I didn't rape her, but I, I do feel responsible. Well, if you ask me, there's quite a few people responsible. I mean, she did go into that bedroom with you, and our oh, Rod's not exactly blameless, is he? Putting him for a divorce and that. I still feel like I should try and help her. But she says she never wants to see me again. Well, that's probably best. Try and put it behind you both. So I can stop being a recluse, you mean? A what? I've been staying indoors all the time recently. This is my effort at getting back into society. Oh, listen, if you'd been born a corker, you'd be used to people gossiping about you. Face them, they'll forget it. Last load of the dryer, Tracy, love. You! You've got a nerve coming in here. Nan. I was just going. And you can stay out. And you can stay away from our Diana as well. If I as much as hear that you've been anywhere near that girl... For God's sake, Nan. God's got nothing at all to do with it. You cursed you are. Your case forever for what you did to a lovely girl like Diana. Don't worry, it'll be all right. All right, well, come on, hurry up, get in, otherwise you'll waste your five minutes. All right with you, is it? I thought he'd be smaller than that. Well, the clinic says he's the right size for his age, don't he, Fran? He was, uh, well, I thought he'd be all wrinkly and all that, you know, but... Proper little fella, isn't he? Eh, uh, is he strong than that? Don't. I'm sorry. Well, he seems happy enough. Does he Does he sleep right through at night? He's pretty good all round. He likes his food. He's not a bad eater. They say they can make colours out at his age, don't they? Yeah, well, sometimes we jangle that in front of him. Works, does it? Yeah, sometimes. He pulled a face, then. Does he get colic? You what? Oh, she's staying with mum going on about it, you know. I clear that. What's wrong on families? Soon got a while of it, though. I clear as eight now, aren't she? Uh, soon goes, eh? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Margaret. That's great. Means I can get these delivered to you. Listen, uh, I'm sorry about this. I just wanted to... Oh, uh, hang on. You busy? I can come back. Anyway. No, no, you're all right. There's my capacity as best man. Uh, sorry, I've got to show you. Well, it's that that I came to see you about, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Oh, well, I've already been busy in that department, haven't I, Fran? What? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, hang on a minute. I'll sort of show you. All right. <sighs> oh, 
Lovely little thing, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's all right. Yeah. Is it your little boy, then, yeah? Yeah. He's uh, dead lucky having a little bonny kid like him, is he, Barry? Yeah. Yeah, Sinbad, what do you think about that? Oh, well, my gob dropped as well when she told me the price. Cost the bomb, didn't he? Yeah, well, I've got to look the pass, haven't I? I'm the best man. What's the matter? Don't you like it? No, no, it's not that. It's, it's great. It's just, uh, well, we should have not spent so much, you know. Better watch out, Sinbad. The best man's gonna be looking better in the groom. Yeah. Mind you don't go creasing it, Terry. I'm leaving it back up for you. So, now you know I'm all kitted out. What else can I do for you? Eh, uh, nothing. No, it's just a tip. Well, I just wanted to make sure you were all right with the date and that, you know. And I don't want you to do anything you don't want to do. I don't want you to feel put on, you know. Well, don't worry about it. I'm not gonna double boot myself, am no, I? No, no, no. It's just that, uh, well, you know, I, I wouldn't be upset if you did have something else, you know. It's all right. You can do that, mate. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Ooh. I must be nervous. I was thinking I'm going to forget about his wedding. Um, look, we did say five minutes, didn't we? Right, well, I'm on my way then. And, uh, look, I know things are dear, and if he ever needs anything... No, not from you, not ever. Look, I only meant, you know, to, don't let him go short of anything when he only needs to ask. Nothing's changed, Barry. He survived up till now without you seeing him. And I'll make sure he survives the rest of his life without even knowing you exist. Anyway, uh, thanks very much for letting me see him. Oh, well, at least that's over and done with. It was really good of you to pick me up and everything. All right. My nan said she'd be round to visit you. It'll probably be tonight. Oh, she's been great as well. Yeah. Well, you know what my nan's like with the family and that? Just watch she doesn't kill you with kindness. I won't be family for much longer, will I? No, not once a divorce. Oh, once a cork hill, always a cork hill, according to my nan. And me. I just wish you'd tried to talk to one of us before you tried to hurt yourself. I don't understand why you tried to do it. No, I, I just felt like there was nowhere else to go. And you had been raped, but when they said I wasn't, nothing made sense anymore. Well, does it now? Not much, no. But you wouldn't do anything stupid again? No. I'd leave and do that right <sighs> again. Your dad will wonder what we're doing sitting out here. Yeah, I'd better go. The hospital. They want me to see somebody. You know, the doctor that was looking after me, he said perhaps I should see a psychiatrist. Well, that is probably best. You know, it would help to talk. What do you think? You don't think, well, you mean I'm mad or anything, do you? No. Well, if it does, it means half the world's mad. It's considered dead cool these days to see a shrink. It's very American. Oh, my dad wouldn't see it like that. Or oh, Julia. Yeah, Stone Age or what? You won't tell them, will you? I mean, they don't only go on and, you know, I'm finding it a bit nerve-wracking as it is. No, you're all right. I could come with you if you like. I oh, thought it'd be great if you could. I'd better go in then. Well, let me know then, eh? Yeah. And... Thanks again. I'm really sorry if I've caused you any trouble. Oh, Diana, I hope there's one thing this psychiatrist can do for you. Get you to stop apologising. <laughs> right, see you. Bye. With one free phone call. So what have you been up to? How's Diana? She's not too bad. She's really going to Hey, is it all right if I went to this door open while Fran gets her stuff through? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. Go on, go on. Hiya. Hiya. Oh, sorry about this. We'll be traipsing in and out for a bit. Oh, it's no problem. Is he all right? Yeah. Right, I'll uh, go and get the rest of the case as you go on up. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll put the kettle on. So? Looks like it's happy families again, doesn't it? Daddy Terry, Mummy Fran, my son. 
I wanted to look as if we were really busy. Not so busy that we can't cope with the can. Should have bought me such a brilliant prezzy. Well, can we move on now from birthday presents to best men? Oh, you ruined it now. Decision time. I know, I know. Look, you can't have two best men standing at the altar arguing over who's got the wedding rings. Wedding rings. Oh, that reminds me of wedding rings. They'll be ready on Monday. Don't change the subject. <sighs> It'll have to be Jimmy, won't it? Well, you ask Terry first. Yeah, I know, but Jimmy's got a suit and he's all excited, isn't he? Yeah, well, Terry's got a suit as well. <sighs> well, who do you think it should be? I don't care, as long as there's only one of them. So you're going to tell Terry that he's surplus to requirements? Yes, if I see him. All right. Oh, dead on cue. Sinbad's got something to tell you, Terry, haven't you? Yeah, um, well, the thing is, um, no, the wedding rings, um, the, well, they'll be ready Monday. Oh, great, so what have I got to go and do, pick them up or what? Uh, well, no, no. Hey, don't worry. Hey, look, we've got this great little book here, all about the best man's duties. Don't worry, everything's under control. I've got my speech cracked. Fran's been helping me. Hey, Mass, uh, where's the sterilising solution? Oh, it's down there on the right. You're gonna have to excuse me. Why, where are you going? He's got a book, his suit, he's even got a speech sussed. I'm gonna have to tell Jimmy, aren't I? For you. I'm not going to see the psychiatrist. I'm not mad. Well, no one said you were. Well, why did they want me to go and see you one then? Because you need help. Oh, all I need is good sleep. Diana, what am I going to tell the hospital? You can't sit around here all day in your dressing gown. I know. We'll go for a drive or something. Where? Anywhere we could go the country. Or the sea. And we could have some lunch. The sea? Yeah, we could drive over to West Kirby. I went to Elbert Island once when I was little. They got seals there. It's dead nice. All right, then. Um, will you go and get some warm clothes on and we'll have a walk along the beach, have some lunch and uh, we'll look for the seals? Get that message. But the tunnel was that way. This is quicker. Oh. You're bigger than me. I couldn't throw you over my shoulder and carry you in, could I? I'm not going in. Well, we'll sit here and admire the view, then. Interesting brickwork to the left. I'm not going to see many seals here, am I? Not a lot, now. <sighs> well, drive me home. No. Well, I'll get out and walk, then. OK. Well, did you really think I was going to fall for this? Well, you did fall for it, didn't you? No, I didn't. As soon as we passed the size for Birkenhead, I knew you were up to something. Now, we wasted his time, so I'm not going in. Back to admiring the view, then. <laughs> the cheek of you. <sighs> All right, then, I'll go in, but I'm not going to say anything. Fair enough. And as soon as I've finished, which is going to be in about three minutes, because I'm not going to open my mouth, you can drive me out to West Kirby. Deal.
The enough for tonight. Mum's a bit tired. No worries. Sometime next week then? Yeah, any time. Nice one. I'll see you then, yeah? to come.